What's up everybody? This is John with Archer Fish. I am back on Lake Castaic. It's been about a week and a half, man. I'm jonesing to get out here. Weather's kind of weird. Um, this weird smoky sky. I haven't seen a lot of action yet. No striper activity. A little, a couple, a little bit of uh, bass boils, but I'm basically, uh, I'm just gonna go after the bass for a bit and then maybe change spots. It's just weird weather. I'm waiting for the wind to kind of switch directions. But anyway, yeah, that's where we're at. Fish of the day. Thanks, buddy. I needed that. Good fish. At least it feels good. Thumped it pretty hard. Not bad, not bad. God, felt huge. This little guy felt massive. Thanks, buddy. It is a rough day. I've only caught a couple fish, had a couple bites. Um, yeah, weird weather. I know they're coming off the full moon week last week, I think. Um, so yeah, and just super hot, obviously, last week. So yeah, it's tough, man. I may just call it and you know, cruise around looking for striper boil, and then, then that'll be it. Well, it looks like I found the striper. They're all on the other side of the barrier. All the boats lined up. Boiling for about a minute, and then they're down for about 10, but not even close to the, uh, the barrier where you could cast. So I may hang out for a few more minutes just to see if I get lucky and then call it a day. What's up, everybody? This is John with Archer Fish. I'm back at Lake Castaic. Man, I tell you, I did not want to get up this morning. It's been a rough time fishing the last couple of trips. Bass are boiling pretty good back here. I just cannot get them to bite anything. I'm like, what? Look at this. They're back here. Look at this. Right there. Everywhere. Getting tougher and tougher to get these fish hooked. Um, but I'm going to keep at it, man, because uh, I love this. <sighs> So ridiculous. Tell it. I just blind casted this my lucky craft. Oh wow. Maybe that's what I needed. Looking for some big bait. Look at this dude. This guy's not looking for a little bait. Look at that stomach. <laughs> Look at this. Look at, Look at that belly. Oh. Alright, so the thing to consider when you're doing this bass boil hunt at Castaic, especially in a fall like this, or about to be the fall, is take note of the wind changes. Typically, when the wind switches direction, uh, that's you're gonna get a good flurry of boils all over the place. So be ready. With this fluke fishing, it, you, it's very tricky unless it's really overcast and dark. You've got to get on because they're chasing one little fish. I've said this before. One bass keyed in on one little fish. If you get it in there before he gets that other fish, right, in, like in his way, typically you get a bite or if there's multiple fish chasing one or two, then you have a better chance. When there's a giant boy and lots of fish, you have a way better chance of getting a bite. Otherwise, it is very, very tough because they can see that fluke like ridiculously well. So, just a couple of tips for you on these bass boils.
Looks easy, doesn't it? <laughs> All right, I gotta make this quick. I was heading in and I saw a bunch of boats uh, out here, so I kind of headed over to them. And sure enough, the, the stripers start boiling right in front of me. Easily could have hooked one, but all my gear was tangled up. Got one. Oh. Got off or broke me off. Get out of the foil, what are you doing? Don't go into them. Went right into the thing. Oh, thanks, man. Do you? Yeah. Keep that same energy, Archer. What are you doing? You're yelling at him one minute, and then he tells you he's a subscriber and you're a best friend. No, but I just wanted to add this in there because, uh, you know, obviously it's it's you're you're out there. It's intense. The boils are hard, man. It, it's it's fun to chase him, but it is tough. You know, they're not staying up very long and you're racing around and there's much faster boats out there. And sometimes they intentionally cut you off and sometimes they intentionally cut the, the you know, cut right into the boils. You have pleasure boaters that slice right through the boils even when you're right there fishing. So it could be a little frustrating at times, but dude was cool, man. He said that he had the, the boat was in gear on accident. They're subscribers. So shout out to you guys, man. It was cool to, to, to see you out there. I know you got a couple striper. Um, but yeah, that's, I just thought it was funny cause I'm screaming and then they're like, Hey, sorry. And then they're like, what's up? And you know, I was, uh, I was much calmer. It's not even, it's not a big deal. You know, the, catching the fish, I'm trying to make a good video. So it can be a little frustrating. Uh, and I'm sure people want to eat those fish, but it's not a big deal. You know, I've caught plenty of stripers, you know, so it's not the end of the world to miss a fish or a boil. So there's no reason to be so cutthroat at it. We're all in this for the same thing, man. And I get excited when I see other guys get into them, you know, so keep that in mind. All right, back to the video. You didn't get one out of that one? Oh, sh I, I think one, I got broke off on that one. Have they been boiling pretty good like this? All right, so I had one and it broke me off. I'm using 12 pound mono. I've never been broke off on a striper, so I don't know. I, I think it may have been frayed. So yeah, that's two. I'm 0 for 2 now, but the guy said that they're boiling up. These guys back here, they're uh, boiling up all over this area all morning long. So I think I'm going to get lucky. I mean, it popped up right in front of me twice. So maybe I'll get lucky and uh, get a couple. Funny, I rarely see her say that to the uh, the wakeboarders and the pleasure boaters. All right, they say don't, it's better to be lucky than good. Man, the striper boils today is all about luck. A couple times they popped up right in front of me. They're moving all over the main lake, so it's really hard to catch up to them. They're not staying up very long. And you got a couple of boats that they're just running right into them like you, you got to give yourself some space to cast and have the setup to cast if you go right into them you're scaring the bait you scare the striper back down and if you don't catch a fish nobody's getting one so they're kind of ruining the boils for everybody so a couple people you know like charging right in because they want one so bad is just kind of ruining the boils for everyone they're not staying up very long as it is but still you've got to try to like, you know, use teamwork, you know, don't cut off the school. If the school's going one direction, every time they come up, they're heading one direction. Don't cut them off. Just kind of box them in or follow them and everybody gets a chance. Come on. 
All right, the smoke is getting really, really bad. Taste it. So I think I'm gonna head out. Uh, the striper boil is a grind. Um, I mean, it is tough out here. It's the, the boils are all the way from Kong Island to the marina and just everywhere in between, but it's like, they're so spread out and they're popping up and going back down so fast, very difficult to get them. Uh, that being said, I did have my chances. I had, uh, I hooked one, somehow it broke me off. I guess I, I you know, had a nick in the line or something. It was frayed because there's no way it's gonna break that 12 pound. These are like seven pound fish. I, oh, there they are, damn. Anyway, you can see all the boats out here. It, it's getting a little packed. I mean, everyone charges in at once. They actually did a pretty good job that time, not, you know, busting up the, uh, the boil too early. But it's just tough when you're in a rental boat, you know, there's all these uh, faster boats that can get there quicker, um, you know, and the boils are not staying up that long. So I may stick around a couple more minutes because they're near the marina. So yeah, but it is very, very smoky as you can see.